I would like to make a few comments. The first is that we all are aware that the war on Gaza, it's in the 10th month, nine and a half months have passed, and we know that the war is escalating and thousands have been killed. According to the latest report two days back on the 18th of July 2024, according to Al Jazeera newspaper, just in a span of 50, the span of only 24 hours, no less than 54 Palestinians were killed in the central part of Gaza. We know that the southern and central part of Gaza are being bombarded, and in the last uh, couple of weeks, the schools have been targeted, and many have been killed. The total in this nine and a half month, the people that have been killed in Palestine, according to Al Jazeera, statistics of two days before, were 38,848 Palestinians were killed and more than 89,000 were injured. But naturally, this, this figure is only of that which is reported. And we know that the real figure will be much more. It may be multiple times of those killed and those injured. And we know two-thirds of the people who have been injured are children and women. And we condemn this act of Israel and the Israel Defense Forces for the brutal killing and targeting the innocent civilians. And even though they are continuing this act, the good part is that there are protests, not only from the Muslims, but from non-Muslims all over the world. And this had reached large numbers. So much so that as far as the social battle is concerned, the people of Palestine, the people of Palestine have won it. Yes, we know yet people have been killed, but now the social awareness of the atrocities done by the Israeli forces on the innocent Palestinian. Because of this continuous protest, and we find that thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of non-Muslims have joined this protest, not only in Muslim countries, but even non-Muslim countries, in America, in European countries, so much so that now many allies of Israel have told and have gone against Netanyahu and against Israel. But yet, there are yet a few selected Western countries that are supporting the atrocities done by Israel. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may he give steadfastness to the people of Palestine, to the people of Gaza, to the people of Rafa. May he give them sabr, patience. May he grant Janata Firdos to the martyrs, all the shaheed who have been killed in Palestine. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them victory.